<laughs> Everything you heard is bullshit. <laughs> Reality isn't the choice between the blue pill and the red pill. It's the black pill. This pill. Anxiety, she's gonna feel some type of way. Because she's gonna realize, man, I'm not the only girl. She's gonna say, horrible. I'm gonna be honest. There's some good marriages out there, but it's a very small, minute percentage, and you don't really hear about those marriages, right? Those people usually stay to themselves. But I can say this women initiate between 70 and 80% of divorces. That's crazy, isn't it? Now, would you get on a plane knowing that, hmm, it only has a 30% chance to survive, to land. It only has a 20% chance to get to its destination. Probably not. You'll think, you know, that's not a good idea. Let me go to another plane. Let me just, you know, take a bus or, or take the train or, or drive myself. This is what marriage is. And so many men are just going through the slaughterhouse. <laughs> one by one by one by one. It's cold. sad. It's like an assembly line because so many men, just think about it. They believe that that woman will give them constant sex. That woman will never leave. That woman will never cheat. She will never do any of that. She would never just take the kids away. But so many men are so wrong because so many women can hide behind a mask. She can give you crazy good sex. Matter of fact, the best sex you're ever going to get from a woman is if she's a side chick or she's her girlfriend. Uh -oh. Think about it. Man, I've had so many different consultations with men across the globe who call me and their number one issue with their wives is that I'm not getting enough sex or she's barely giving me any. She's not giving me any. We haven't had sex in one, two, three, five, six, seven, ten 10 years. What can I do, dear, is how can I fix the situation? I love her. And that's the thing. These men love. Um, you heard that? This is part two of the response of Darius M. Okay. He responds, responds. This is what the fuck we do over here, okay? We all have rights to respond to these videos. All right, so what he's saying in part two, I'm going to keep it simple right now, okay? The bottom line is that, um, he, like, my philosophy is keep them in position three or position four. When I stand a fling, or just keep them as a companionship. Keep them at bay. That's what you do with them. You keep them at bay, all right? The only time you take a risk and put them in position one, only if she's a dream virgin and she... And she raising your family for you. That's a different ball game. That case, then also that's why you, that's why you, that's why we lords we deal with polygamy. So even when your dream girl who's a virgin now become your wife and have and having your family for you, you can give a break with sex, okay? And then have your little mistress, have your little side piece, okay? That's called life of a lord. But most y'all do it so fucking average, goofy, and simple. And then you come here fucking crying on fucking social media. They go, you simple. So you know what? Suck it up, suck it up. And live your fucking goofy regular Irish marriage life. Cause lords, we eat a fucking monks, bachelors, or we do polygamy. Take or leave it. That's the life of a lord we live over here at lords. Okay, especially as successful black pillars, and also and red pillars like CGA and all them. Okay, and Doctor Bua. Okay, and, and there is them. Right, we live life differently, man. All right, me me personally, in Peru, I don't answer nobody besides Jehovah, man. I mean, lost land. I'm complying with the laws of the land. I even, but even then, do fuck them. I don't, I don't trust nothing. I don't trust the government. I don't trust the laws. I don't trust none of them. But I try to be compliant. That's it. But the only thing I trust is the most high creator, all right? Who created the sun and the moon? Uh, me and myself, uh, my own rules. So me, I don't answer to no fucking woman. Never. Get the fuck out of here, all right? You guys are goofy, all right? So it's, listen, man, that either you're a peasant or you're a lord, okay? I don't care whether you have a million dollars in the bank pushing Lamborghini red carpet or you only making. 10,000 a year on your lord. No? You play by your own rules. Anyone in your cycle, she already know what it is. All right? Because my dude, right now, I'm talking, I'm talking to two females right now, and they already know my way of life. Okay? And, and they know me for years now. All right? And every now and then, I fuck them. Okay? That's why I'm a successful black pill. All right? You guys become black pill and red pill because you can't get a pussy. But the moment a bitch kiss you, or even you smell a bitch panties, you go back to fucking plantation. 
huh? You go right back to being a fucking beta, huh? But you red pill and black pill because you can't get a pussy. But the moment you get some fucking affection, you're back to the plantation. What the fuck with you, nigga? You're lame. You screw up, huh? A true red pill, have pussy and still stand his ground, huh? A true black pill, have access to women and still stand his grounds, okay? Stop playing, man. Love their wives. They would do anything for them, even suffer, even go without sexual contact, any sort of physicality, any sort of love in a relationship, in a marriage, because they care about her and they don't want to just throw the family away because they're not getting their needs met. But when it comes to women, that's anything but that, right? You hear about women divorcing her, uh, their uh, husbands. They said, you know, my needs are being met and, and everything like that. And, and so I'm not happy. And his thing, when a husband asks, so what can I do to make you happy? These women don't even have the answer. They go to relationship therapy and couples therapy and everything. And these women are like, I'm just not happy. And deep down, they know they just want to go back out there to the streets. They just want to ride the carousel again. They want to sleep around and hook up because they're tired of doing the marriage thing. It's boring. They miss the likes and the DMs from the guys, the guys approaching them and, and shooting a shot. They miss that, you know, hot girl summer sort of life. They're tired of sitting around going to church every Sunday and 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 knitting and crocheting and just sitting there and, and watching Hallmark movies and Lifetime movies. No, they want to get out there to the streets. They want to do what they want to do because they see all their girlfriends, all their single friends, all these different women on social media having fun. And they miss that fun. So what they do is they say, you know, I'm going to think about myself, forget my family, forget my husband's happiness, forget the kids. I'm going to break all of us up. I'm going to blow it up just to go back out there to the streets. Yeah, because woman, woman nature, I'm going to say all, oh, but I'm going to keep it 1940 gangster up this bitch. 98% of holes, man. That's it. 98% of whole tendencies. Actually, even 100% of women on the planet have potential of being a hoe. But at least 90% react on their wholeness. All right, uh, I'm gonna say it again. 98% react on their wholeness. Only 2% can, can restrain from being a hoe. I mean, she keep it noble, she keep it righteous, she keep it hardcore. Only 2%, okay? And one of those two top, and one of those 2% on the globe who's well known is called, like, her name is Mother Teresa. All right, there was only a few breed of women out here on the planet, man. There were only a few breed who be on the level. But only two percent, nine percent is a host, man. But now, if I have a potential wifey, I do believe in four percent. Four percent have potential of being a good wifey. Four percent. But even those, even in those four percent, the two percent have whole tendency. All right. So let me keep it nineteen forty gangs up this bitch. All right. Let's continue. This part two. I'm gonna do in one more part. Part part three. It's sad, man. And that's what so many women are doing. They're messing up households because they want to be happy, because their emotional needs are being met. And they can't even explain what their emotional needs is. Even a husband will say, you know what? I'll do this, I'll do this. And let, let me take you out. Let me get you some lingerie. We've all heard it before. These husbands try to do any and everything that they possibly can to satisfy their wives, and their wives will still complain. And then once they get single, these women gotta go back out there and I gotta go to the dating world. I gotta realize, man, this is not all this cracked up to be. All these guys just wanna hook up with me. And <laughs> man, I could have just hooked up with my husband when I had the chance. Everything you've heard is bullshit. This is why freedom is a choice. Freedom is a choice between the blue pill and the red pill. You're saying, I'm gonna bet everything, everything that I have that this woman always did by me. It's like a loaded gun that you have to land that you know it in here. Now, if you want to pull it and take my money, you can do it at any time you want, but 